Hello everyone and welcome back to our flight performance dashboard series. In one of our previous video I have shown you how to build star schema data model, but we overlooked one crucial element of each data model and that is calendar table. Calendar table is one of the most important dimension tables that each data model should have and in this short video I will show you how to create calendar table and connect it to your data model. So let's get started with Power BI Desk. And here we are in model view. Here we have our star schema with one facts table and four dimensional tables. To create a calendar table that we are missing, we will select new table from, from home ribbon. Click on new table and now let's write DAX for calendar table. First we will name it calendar table and we will use add columns function to create date table and to create date table we will use calendar dax function first input uh, should be start date for start date we will use first or minimum value from our date column that is in fact table and that is flight date close brackets and for end date we will use maximum dax function and we will also here add as input add light date from our fact table and this is full DAX formula that will create our date column that is most important for our calendar table but we want to create more columns for our calendar table these are some basic columns that every calendar table must have and that is year so let's name it year First input is the name of the column, second parameter is expression and that will be year DAX which will extract year from our date column that we have created using formula above. Next column that we want to have is month and we will use month DAX date column this expression will pull month number from our date next thing what we want to add is water we will use water dax and input will be date one more thing that i like to have in my calendar table is month name so for month name we will use following DAX function and that is format so we will format date and we will use format for M's that will show full month name and let's close brackets and let's close brackets for add columns function press enter and as you can see here in the middle calendar table has been created now we need to connect calendar table with our fact table uh, we can do it by selecting manage relationships click on the new relationship from table we want to create a relationship from calendar table we will use date column and we will connect it with our fact table and we will use as a secondary key flight date cardinality one to many that's good we always want to have one to many when we are connecting dimensional with fact tables cross filter direction is single let's save this close this relationship span and one thing that i forgot is to set data type for our date column and currently it is date time let's change it to just date and format it as a short date okay let's go back to model view next thing what we need to do is to mark this table as a date table so how we will do that in top right corner you have three dots click on it and you have option mark as a date table click on choose column select date column validated successfully save it 
now we have our date column and last important thing that we want to have in our calendar table it is date hierarchy now we are going to create hierarchy and why do we need it for example if we want to have line chart and we want to see results per year and then to drill down per month or per quarter or to drill down till lowest level date level we will need date hierarchy to create date hierarchy we will have to navigate to highest level and in our case that is year click on three dots click on create hierarchy and let's scroll down and as you can see here we have year hierarchy created now what we're going to do is we are going to add quarter to that hierarchy that is our next level add it to year hierarchy next what we want to do is to add month name to year hierarchy add it and lowest level will be date hierarchy and let's select add it to year hierarchy and here we have year hierarchy year quarter month name and date so just let me show you how this works let's select a line chart in line chart we will add hierarchy that we have created and let's use any value from fact table and that is revenue let's use revenue and as you can see here now we see results only on year level but in top right corner we have drill down icons so let's drill down to our next level that is quarter now we can see results per quarter let's go down now we can see per month and we can go back and that's it for today's video now we have calendar table that contains all required columns that we need for our flight performance dashboard if you like this video don't forget to subscribe like and comment what you think about this video thank you and see you in our next video bye